Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Amzie's Corner. Now we got some pretty cool stuff here at the shop today. We got that Grand Prix from yesterday's video. We got the old uh, Continental from videos before. And then we got this pretty looking 74 Eldorado here. Nice looking car. Now this here is original and unrestored. This guy puts, I believe, a hundred miles a year on this thing, and it shows. The top down. One of the last days you're going to be able to get the top down on one of these. That nice interior. Definitely shows its age in here, but I think it still holds up well. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, a lot of people don't know that this is the first. American front-wheel drive car. That's right. This thing here is a 502 cubic inch big block that powers the front wheels and like I said it's the first American built car to have that. Well I think maybe it was a Packard. It might have been a Packard or a Tucker that was front-wheel drive but I think this is what everyone says was the first. Yeah. Look at that grill. Yeah. Yeah. I like the scroll work. The scroll work all on the dash. Although I wouldn't necessarily call that scroll work. It's more like a, a scroll molding that's actually plastic, but still nice and classy. Here's the Cadillac tail fins. Yeah. Let's see if we can sneak a peek under the hood before this thing takes off on us today. It just uh, it just came in today for a sticker. So, sometimes we got to tear into them like those two old girls, and sometimes they're just here just to, to make sure their heart's beating right. Oh, that's a hood. There it is. 502 cubic inch, big block, or 501, 500 cubic inch. Front wheel drive, you can see the lot of space back here on the firewall to the back of the block. That's for the bell housing and transmission. I don't know if this shows up or not, but look at the size of those CV axles up there going to the front wheels, huh? Yeah. Neat car. Not very powerful, kind of a lead sled because 74 is directly smack dab in the middle of all the... Uh, the emissions requirements, choking all these poor, poor 70s cars out. But this isn't really a performance car. That's not what this is about, as, uh, as I'm sure you can tell. Well, all right, guys, I got to get back in and, and finish up a truck on my lift. So until tomorrow, keep it out of the cabbage.